Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Hey Noobs for those of you guys that are new here. And today is my tutorial on how to blur anything and everything, um, whatever you want to blur out in Photoshop. Now this is going to be a really quick tutorial guys, so let's hop right into it. So guys, right here I have a picture of a hey, Patrick Mahomes from the Kansas City Chiefs, which believe it or not, some people, actually many people have said that I looked like. And so for this tutorial, what we're just going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to blur out his face, for example. And so there are well really three different easy ways to do this and so i'm just gonna go over all three of them so the first way that you could do this is um if you want to just blur out something like circular like a face you can come up here to the elliptical marquee tool select it whoop, by uh, just hovering over it and clicking it then you're going to click and drag to create create your oval now once you have your oval created or circle rather um as you can see here in this example you can actually just click anywhere inside the circle and drag it to move it around. If you want to deselect it and redo it, it's Control D on Windows or Command D on a MacBook. Um, as you can see, I'm just going to click Command Z, or Control Z to undo that. And then what you're going to do once you have uh, a selection, which is this dotted line that's moving, is you're going to head up to Filter, come down to Blur right here, and then click on Gaussian Blur. Now, once you do that, as you can see, the shape starts to get blurred out. Now, this section over here that says radius and then pixels on the right, this is just the intensity of the blur. So as you can see, the lower the radius slash pixels, the less of a blur that there is, and the higher the radius slash pixels, the more of a blur that there is. So that is example one. Now, since the background was kind of blurry, I also imported a second picture of Mahomes, which I will do the other two examples on, or maybe just one and then we'll go back to the other picture. So for this example, I'm gonna show you guys how to blur something out using the quick selection tool. Now the quick selection will take into account a certain area um, with similar pixels and will just kind of automatically create a selection for you and all that you do to use this tool is you click and drag now if for example you get a bit out of your selection like here what you're going to hold down is the alt key and that will bring up as you can see the minus sign and that will just erase um whatever part of the selection that you did not want in there and so i'm going to go through real quick make a quick selection as you can see since the background is a solid color it was a very clean selection right off the bat so then same thing you're going to come up to here go down to blur click on gaussian blur and there you are now we literally blurred out his whole body for this example um so yeah there goes that example and then the final one is with the pen tool so with the pen tool now guys all that you do is you can either click p which is the keyboard shortcut to select the pen tool or come down here and then click on pen tool and then all that you do for the pen tool is you can click and manually make points for your final selection so i'm just going to do a very rough go around of patrick mahomes then once you have your selection and you finish off by clicking on your starting point you right click and then you go to make a selection click ok and then there now you have your selection again now again, you're gonna come up to filter, go down to blur, Gaussian blur, and honestly, you can use any of these, but Gaussian blur is most popular. Click Gaussian blur, and as you can see, yet again, we have another blurry selection. Also, a cool little tip about making selections. For example, if you wanted to, let's say, blur out the background of Mahomes instead of him himself, um, what you could do is, again, go around him. This time, I'm just gonna use the pen tool to be quick about it. Finish off your selection, make selection, okay. And then you come up to select. If you wanna do the inverse and make the background of him blurred out, you click inverse. This will select whatever wasn't inside of your selection before instead of what it was. And then you go to the same thing. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And as you can see now, the whole background behind him or anything that was inversed in the selection is now blurred out. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the tutorial. The likes, comments, sharing, and quality content is obviously what helps this channel out. And guys, currently we are on the road to 100 subscribers. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave feedback in the comments. And guys, it's a noobs. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.